so today I've got a really cool activity to show you, something to do for the garden, despite it still feeling a bit like winter, there is something you can get doing in the garden, and it's particularly fun to do it with your kids. Now moss, absolutely love moss. It's a really nice plant to have in the garden, and it's great for invertebrates and insects, and of course other things that will look for those invertebrates and insects in there to eat. And I'm going to show you how to grow this around your garden, in particular on plant pots and on rockeries. And it just makes the place look a lot greener. So what you need is some moss, some natural yoghurt, a spray mister bowl, a paintbrush, scissors, a bowl and a spoon. And here's a good place to get some moss. There's good places to get your moss uh, in like woodland or off, your, off the roof of your house or in your garden. But a really good place is down here at the old hoverport site. There's loads of moss carpeting the ground and it's just all loose on the floor because birds have been pecking at it. Lily, get out of my shop. Come on. Because birds have been pecking at it so to, to find invertebrates to eat. So the old hoverport site is a great place to get the moss. Right, so what you want to do is you want to get the yogurt open and put some of it in the bowl. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the moss. Now you may see people saying to put this in a food blender, but don't do that. It doesn't work very well. The best thing to do is to get the moss and cut it up. And it's a great activity to do with the kids and to do in schools as well. Cut the moss up into lots of little bits or even break it up into lots of little bits. Whatever you fancy. Get it all in that bowl. So once you've got all that moss in there, you need to give it a good old stir. Stir that moss into the yogurt. Get it nice and around. And the way this yogurt works is it helps to spread it around and get all the broken down moss nice and even. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go outside, find where we want to put it, and we're going to paint this mix onto the surface. So here I've got a dry stone wall I've built next to my pond. And this is what I want to encourage moss to grow all over it because it'll look really nice. So I've got my mix now. And what I'm simply going to do is just wherever I want it to grow, I'm going to just paint it onto the blocks like this. It's really nice to do and you can see where you've painted it. Get big clumps of the moss as well and get it all in there. And it's as simple as that. It's really fun to do as well. And what you're going to need to do in the coming weeks is with your little mister, once a day for the next few weeks or more, depending how dry it is, is just give it a little bit of a squirt. Just give it a little bit of moisture. And eventually it'll take off and this will all look like it's been here for like decades. So while lots of people are out there jet washing moss off their roof or off their driveway, here we are painting it on. Cheers guys, be wild.